Shall we start with team news then? Um, how are Tarek Lamptey, Solly March, Levi Colwell? Um, <clears throat> no, Solly March, uh, Levi Colley, they are in the list. Uh, Tarek, I don't know. Uh, we have to we have to see um, this training, the last training. Could Colwell be will he be in the squad tomorrow after? Maybe. Yeah. I want to I want to see this morning uh, the last uh, the last week uh, he played with uh, under 21 i was on the on the on the stadium to 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 watch him and is a um, a good good moment we've spoken before about european football and the ambitions of that um thomas frank at brentford this week has said that he is quite happy for people to dream of qualifying for europe do you, as long as it's matched with hard work though, do you, do you look at that in the same way? Do you encourage players to dream of European qualification? Uh, yes, um, I'm really pleased uh, for my players and uh, I'm happy for their performances, for the result. Uh, but uh, we, we know very well the, the um, the way to arrive in Europe, uh, in uh, our uh, target, is uh, is, um, is long, no? Uh, and uh, we have to push. We have to think uh, game by game. Um, tomorrow start uh, a difficult period for us because we play um, Saturday, Wednesday, and Sunday. But we are ready to, to fight, to, to try to arrive uh, off our uh, target in Premier League and, and uh, in um, FA Cup. Uh, we want to win every game. We want to play every game with the, the, our quality, the, our um, style. Uh, and yeah. Your excellent form and the work you're doing here, it attracts a lot of attention. It gets a lot of praise. It means when there might be some changes at other clubs that your name starts to be mentioned as a possibility. There's been things this week in the press about Tottenham. If they parted with Antonio Conte, would you be someone that they'd be interested in? Does that, does it, is it more that that sort of thing, does it flatter you when you get talked about like that? But, uh, we are happy because uh, the people are speaking about uh, our quality of play and for us is a uh, proud but uh, we have to to be focused only of the the next games and we have a clear focus we have a clear uh, target and for the player for me is the same uh, I have a, a long contract with uh, with Brighton, I'm happy to, to work here. I'm enjoying uh, working in uh, with these players. I'm delayed for my players, for the performance of my players, and I can ask more because uh, for me it's a it's a good moment of my work of my life. Mm -hmm. um, since we last spoke, Moises Casado has signed that new contract. Um, you said during January, when we know what happened with social media, you've been speaking to him like a father to sort of give him advice, because he's obviously very young as well. How much of that one-on-one -on -one relationship that you have with him probably helped him to sign that new deal? No, I was... Uh honest with him and I told him uh, what was my my opinion my idea uh, I, I spoke uh, I spoke with him uh, for my vision but uh, uh, not for my interest for for uh, for the, the the club interest for the my interest and for his in interest and I spoke like a father because, like a father, because uh, he's uh, young. We have two children. 
almost the, the same age and uh, if I can uh, help my player, uh, my work is to help my player. Finally for me, are you quite confident that he has he sort of learns from that situation? There was a lot of change in his life because of the agents changing and everything. That that sort of thing won't happen again because his performances will get a lot of attention. A lot of clubs will be interested in him, but there won't be that same scenario that happens again. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, he's a good guy, and uh, can happen to to. Uh, to think uh, different uh, in different way, but uh, if you trust in if you trust uh, in, in your player, uh, you you have to believe uh, to him and uh, um, give him uh, your idea, your opinion to help him to to take a a, a right decision. And I think uh, for for him. It uh, was important uh, to, to stay another six months, I hope, another two, two years, but I don't know. But uh, to finish the season uh, in his team with his uh, uh, teammates in, in his uh, club is important uh, for him. Thank you. Hi, morning. Brighton now 38 points after 23 games. I don't know if you know, but that's the most they've ever had in the top division, Brighton, at this stage. How have you managed to do that, do you think? Um, it's not for the coach, it's for the quality of player. And the quality of player, I, uh, I'm speaking uh, about the, the the people before then the, the players. Uh, we have uh, very good players. Uh, we are improving. They are becoming uh, players of uh, the first first level, and it is not difficult to. to uh, to achieve to this result with a squad of this uh, quality is not a uh, merit. It's not to the, um, my deserve, uh, but uh, only for the quality of players. You've still got games in hand over all the teams around you. Three games over Tottenham. They're fourth. Do you think you can catch them? We hope we have a dream and uh, I think we know very well we can write the history, the new history of the club and for us uh, this is a very important and very, uh, very nice um, challenge. Uh, we know it will be very difficult but uh, it's very difficult the game in Leeds. We know what we 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 expect, we can expect. Uh, but uh, we know in the same way we are able to win. We have a, a quality to win. I think now we have a complete squad. Um, there are many young players. They they are. Uh, in progress and we are stronger as you said away at Leeds have you heard about what it's like to play at Ellen Road I look looking forward to playing their stadium because uh, I know the, the history of uh, Leeds one of the my favorite uh, coaches is uh, Bielsa and I watched a lot of game when uh, he worked in in uh, Leeds. Uh, but if we want to to continue to to in our dreams, we have to win tomorrow. I don't know if you know this. Also, Brighton have never lost against Leeds in the Premier League. 
How do you make sure that continues? Barton non ha mai perso in Premier League contro il Leeds. Come fai sì che questo continui? We have to work hard every day. Uh, we have to keep humble. Uh, and we, uh, we, we, can, we can't forget uh, our quality, our attitude, our, um, our characteristic, our, our uh, style of play. Uh, but uh, we can't forget uh, our uh, ambition. And just lastly, there could be snow in uh, Leeds. Obviously, this is something you might have experienced before when you were, were here. When we you will were... play with a uh, yellow ball. Sorry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But how, no do problem. Prepare, how do you prepare the players for that? Well, uh, not a problem. Uh, the problem is, the, is because Leeds is a good team, a uh, hot stadium, but it's a... Uh, It's not a problem, the, the weather or... Thank you. Roberto, you mentioned Marcelo Bielsa. They've had different managers after that, but do you still see part of Bielsa in this Leeds team now? They are aggressive. I think they, they are still aggressive, um, like the uh, Bielsa period. Uh, but I don't know if mm, it's similar or not. No, I don't know the the new coach. They changed uh, the coach uh, this month, two two games ago. Uh, but we respect uh, Leeds, and we know to to win the game tomorrow. We are, we uh, we have to do our best. In terms of the pressure, you say it could be a special season for Brighton. Do you enjoy pressure as a manager, as a player? Did you enjoy it, that, that anticipation that this could be very special? Come giocatore, come allenatore, ti piace la pressione? Perché potrebbe essere una stagione importante questa per il Brighton. Ti piace? La pressione. No, I, I, am, uh, I need per, uh, pressure. Uh, and... Uh, If you, if you work uh, uh, to put yourself in 100% and uh, if you work uh, honestly, seriously, uh, you, can, you can't uh, suffer the, the pressure. Last weekend you put Jason Steele in goal for the Premier League. Have you seen a reaction from Robert Sanchez in training? Um, how has that worked between them as well? We spoke... Uh, about the my relationship with Moise Casado but uh, one of the best uh, relationship in dressing room is with Robert Sanchez but uh, I have to I have to to do my work and uh, in this moment I prefer uh, Jason but only for the the the, the our style of play i think Robert can improve, has to improve in, uh, in this part of the, of the football. Uh, for me, for us and for him, uh, uh, first of all. Uh, but um, there are no problems with him. I was clear and I was uh, uh, honest with him and with Jason too. Uh, i spoke uh, we are stronger we are stronger because uh, if we are 20 22 players in the same level uh, they have the the, the same uh, possibility to play they have the same possibility to show their quality and they have uh, the same uh, um, motivation ambitions we are stronger and jason is one of the 20 uh, players in the squad and uh, he has to have the, the possibility to play. He's playing well, very well. Robert uh, uh, too, 
but in this moment I think uh, Jason can play better.